Hey everyone, I am Jake, the Dungeon Master for Venture Ventures, Descent into Avernus. Uh, we are on episode 36, I think. I think. Yeah. Uh, and we have just, uh, we're nearing the end, uh, especially now, after I was challenged by Dave uh, to finish quickly. I don't think he wants that, but I'm wanting that. So uh, I will be doing that. But previously on the last episode, our characters were sent to the cathedral where Zeriel's sword supposedly is. And it's been covered by a Avernian scab-like growth that is being assaulted by demons trying to get to the cathedral and our characters fought through this massive scab thing fighting encountering demons along the way finally they got to a door defeated some other demons and lulu opened the door releasing a gout of light radiant energy uh, and the characters entered. And easily enough, the sword was in sight. Just down the hallway. And they went to cake go... Walk. Just a cakewalk. Uh, I think one of you thought it was just me trying to speed up the whole process, but it was literally in the book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, went to go grab it, and a ghost appeared said some stuff then you guys were sucked into some sort of dreamlike experience and I described a scene and I will describe a scene again and that's where we'll, where we'll pick up so uh, I described you appearing in a town called Idle Glen as you appear on the road in the small town you are immediately surrounded by six dog-faced humanoids wielding blood-stained spears. They laugh maniacally as they approach you. Not far away, you can see a half dozen small demons furiously hacking away at an overturned cart with their claws. A woman's shrill screams of terror sound from underneath the cart. A hulking demon uh, further down the road is clawing at a large set of doors leading into a two-story white stone temple. From within the temple, you can hear a cacophony of muffled screams and shouts. So these six gnolls are surrounding you. We're going to roll initiative. Oh, they're just gnolls? I thought they were much worse. Regular gnolls. <laughs> regular gnolls. Regular gnolls. Are they magical gnolls? Can I see them? Sure. <laughs> hey. In fact, you can see everything I described in here. Are they semi gnolls? Regular gnolls. Seminoles? Seminoles? Anyone? I see where you went with that. <laughs> nice. Good job. Uh, yeah, you can see everything, Draco. So you got that going for you. Yay. Jazzy, I need an initi initiative. Six. Nice cleric roll. Horton? Mm -hmm. 16. That's not a cleric roll. God, Shabby. Do, do it again. That's 21. Not a cleric roll. <laughs> Draco. 17. Okay. Clerics have to re-roll initiative until you get sub 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shabby. You're surrounded by six gnolls. Hello? Chef? Yep, yep, thinking. Um, well, I'm going to do what a barbarian does and swing my great axe. So I... you, got a, you got an extra rage now. Oh, yeah, why don't we go over you guys level, level 12? Why don't we go over what everyone took real quick? Shabby, you got an extra rage. What else did you get? Uh, did I? I yes, thought I just got an ability score improvement. You did. You also got an extra rage, I think. Oh, I see that. Yeah, the rage, the rage. Uh, yeah, got an extra slot, so I've got five rages now. So for a long race. And you took a ability score in it, or did you take a feat? Yeah, I just maxed out my strength and took. Um, so I was only one away from maxing out my strength, and then I took another uh, improvement to dexterity to even out the number. Sweet, sweet. 
important. Yeah. Uh, I just got an ability score increase, and uh, so I put two points in the wisdom. So I'm now at twenty. Nice, Jazzy. Um, I took the sharpshooter feat to improve my archer. No, I'm just kidding. I took <laughs> the, the wisdom optimizing. ASI. <laughs> optimizing, just the wisdom ASI. So far, everyone's boring. Okay, uh, Draco. <laughs> I took oh, cool. ASI just to be boring. Uh, I took a con ASI. You guys are smarter than you look. Feats are flashy. Ability score enhancements are where it's at. Existent. I have the only feat I ever need or that Damn. Horton ever needs. <laughs> okay, Shield Master. It's a good one. True. I've, I've thought about since this is hell if this was going to be a longer campaign and Horton would have been here longer, something might have happened to your shield. At some point. <laughs> Isn't that also your holy symbol? Yeah. Doesn't every cleric have a backup holy symbol? No, you get the one. That's my one. I don't need a backup. I got this one. You just wouldn't have a, you just wouldn't cast. You would just, until you found your shield. Yeah. Yeah. Or go uh, get another shield. Dave, what did you what did Shabby roll for his attacks? Uh, so he got a he's um, great weapon mastering and attacking recklessly and raging, and uh, he rolled an eighteen. That to does hit. hit. Cool. So that's twenty two damage. And then, uh, how do you kill the first null? Oh, sweet! So I get an extra attack. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> um, I just split him in half. Uh, vertically right or horizontally? What is it? Vertically or horizontally? Mm, vertically. Okay. The hard way. The hard. The hard way. half. The That's, hard having. They say the same thing about eating corn the long way. It's the hard way. <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the second one's for a unnatural <laughs> twenty. Uh, Why did that take so long for people? <laughs> I had to think about it for quite a minute. Both well, of you it's did. Not I saw that, it. Like you could do it. It's not that difficult, right? You can eat corn, corn long. that <laughs> way. It's just really <laughs> awkward looking. I saw both of your brains like <laughs> turning. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, Noel, what did you get? Uh, 20. Um, so both of these are for 22 damage. I rolled the same for damage. And you kill another. So technically, that's the I get two extra turns now, right? With, with you don't the way get turns. Two two extra attacks. Sure. So, just attacking recklessly again. I don't know how how um, often if you can just keep going in a row. I think that would be kind of OP, but I'm, I think you can. Uh, Nineteen to hit. So yep. And that is a little bit more damage. Oh, good spreadsheet. 28 damage. Dead. Yeah, I mean, so that's tw that's another tw uh, 20 to hit. Yep. And that's 27 damage. Dead. Okay, so that's only a 16 to hit. That still hits. Really good encounter planning here, you fucking book. And that's another 28 damage. Dead. Oh, that's not going to work. Uh, so that was 11 to hit. Nope. I'll Holy just, shit. I could just say, uh, I mean, I, I have, like, stacked up extra attacks, but... Because, like, my first... My first two killed, so I technically Does still have another. Does it say on your ability you can just keep going? Let me look that up. <sighs> you just turn into a whirling dervish of great axe. While he's doing I've that, I've always thought been... of it. But I was just gonna ask: Has it been eight hours since your guys' last combat? No. No. Beautiful. It's been about 
I don't know, 20 seconds? Yeah, it's basically... Uh, so when I reduce a creature to zero hit points, you can make one melee weapon attack as a bonus action. Okay, so oh, there, I think I was doing that is. wrong then because... Yep, you were. I shouldn't be able to attack recklessly then. It's well, only, You only have one bonus action, so yeah, you were doing it wrong. Well, recklessly, you could have done. I apologize. To make you God can do recklessly, so... Uh, we'll say the first three are down, um, and then unless you actually you don't have a bonus action because you just rage, right? Yeah. Well. Well, what? I don't know. What? what if... You see. rage. You, so it takes a bonus action to rage. Yeah. That's not much of an ability then for a barbarian, because I'm always going to be raging. On but your first only, turn, it's only, only your first, first turn. Because you have to, you use a bonus action to right, rage. Right, 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 right. From then okay. on, you're always raging. You are correct in saying it's not much of an of an ability thing if you are viewing it from the standpoint of killing a knoll, six knolls in a row, <laughs> 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 on the first turn. Yeah, uh, I would agree with you if that were the case. Um, so we'll say three are down. These are like the weakest characters we've faced in a, in a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, this town's They're being protecting uh, raided. Aerial sword. Uh, let me give you some more background on Idle Glen, and I will ask a character who's proficient in history or religion to roll a history or religion check. I can do religion. I can do history, and I got a 22 in history. Got a 17 religion. I got a 22 in herstory. Herstory. Since this is That's the a woke female version. angel that mm -hmm. we're looking yep. into. Yep. Uh, so, you remember when you see the sign of Idle Glen that this town was attacked by gnolls and cleric of Lathander, Solndor Brightstar, prayed to Lathander, and Zeriel came to defeat the gnolls. Generations later, Knowles and Yinogu returned to Idle Glen. Zeriel and Hellriders defeated them again. And at the far end of the street, beyond the overturned cart with little demons, you see a large statue of an angel who you surmise might be Zeriel. Um, all the trees are on fire. And uh, there's burning buildings pretty much everywhere. Yeah. And uh, that's what you see so far. Sick, sick. Everything's cool. on fire. This is fine. Draco. I'm going to cast uh, Ray of Frost on one of the gnolls. Nice. And that's a 24 to hit. Yes. Go ahead and roll your... Um, that is 10 uh, cold damage. Roll your um, d20 for the surge. Nope. Okay. Ray of Frost is first level? Or, or no, that was a cantrip, so actually I wouldn't... Oh, never mind. Yeah. doesn't matter. Um, anything else? Nope, that is it. Okay. I'm just going to kind of be floating in the air. How high? About, I'd say, 30 feet. Okay. Horton. Uh, how many people are around me? Three now? Yeah, three. Three gnolls. And then how far away is the overturned cart that's being attacked? It is... <clears throat> A hundred feet or so. It's down the street. Oh, cool. 150 feet. Then I will... 20 feet. Can I see the person screaming underneath it? No, you can't. No. She, she is... Uh... Yeah, under. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Then I will just Spirit Guardians. Designating all of my friends as don't take damage. Okay. Uh, wow. It's a wisdom save. Yeah. 
Wow. They all pass, I think. 17 um, DC? Yep, all of them got 17 or higher. So they all take 7 damage. <clears throat> okay. Anything else? That's all. All right. I'll kind of step forward so I'm like... In like the middle? Hit me kind of yeah. deal. Yeah. Uh, the dretches attacking the overturned cart down the road are continuing to claw and try to get in uh, through the overturned cart. Um, you see... The hulking demon is still working on that door of the temple. And now the gnolls go. And a dex save, or a wisdom save from all of them. One is a natural 20, one's a natural one. And the other one is a fail. 10 damage full, 5 damage half. Kills one of them. Nearly kills another. Knolls are all on the same initiative. All right, it's going to bite at old Jerry. Who? Shabby. I said shabby. <laughs> you misheard me. <laughs> I completely said shabby. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> uh, a nine won't do it. The next null will do the same on Jerry. Shabby. Fuck. <laughs> uh, 14 to hit, Shabby. Nope. Okay. Nulls. These are regular sucky nulls. Jazzy, you're up. How far away is the big guy at the church? Two hundred feet or so. Well, boo, that's far. Um, in that case, I'm going to. Uh, do a Loxdon Leprechaun heel click and uh, turn my boots on. Okay. And fly, dash fly 60 feet towards the cart. Okay. Um, and once I'm. How is, is that within. Do they get within 60 feet of the cart? If I yeah, do? you're now within 20 feet of the cart once you dash. Oh, cool. That actually gets me closer. Let me check one thing. Ah, 15 feet. Um, bonus action, I will uh, call up a spiritual weapon. Okay. Get my slapping gauntlet out there, and I'll slap one of the... Dretches. Call them a dretch. Slap a dretch. Okay. And summoning it up, oh, that's good. 11. That hits. Oh, that nat too. It did it. Uh, 11 points of damage. Nice. And summoning up the weapon definitely uh, involves a bellowing trumpet call from my trunk. A lot of For screaming going worth. on in this town, so it just sure. adds to the the noise shabby still two nulls damn still nulls to kill all right oh that's not gonna do it uh first relentless is 13 i assume no. that doesn't hit oh oh 17 yes Forgot to attack you with advantage. It's okay. My bad. <laughs> noise, noise, noise. Uh, that is. Oops. That's not right. 
30 damage. Yeah, you killed another gnoll. Uh, <laughs> nice. Another gnoll and bites then... the dust. So now you can use a bonus action. Ooh, nat 20 on the bonus. Mm hmm. This isn't. This isn't. This is already a hurt null. So this nat twenty is totally gonna be put to good use. <laughs> Splatter it. It is gonna. Just oh, good because I rolled a one on the damage. Left. Oh. Uh, now it's a two. One. I roll the damage die again. Got a seven. God, I forget exactly how to do this. So brutal critical. Uh, you don't double brutal brutal critical. You double the the uh, original dice. Oh, okay. Add one more. And just yeah. add it. Hmm. All right, that's uh, twenty-eight damage. In a puff of red blood, this thing explodes. <laughs> Imagine you like flat axed it. Just like boom, and it just, just. I was gonna say that, but that was too uh, Jerry. Shabby just like, it's like kind of breathing in blood dust. It's nice. <laughs> nice. That's metal. All right. Anything else, sir? No. Draco. How many creatures are attacking the overturn cart? Six. I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to go, you said it's about 80 feet away, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to go my 30 feet of movement, and I'm going to cast web over the six sky creatures. And that's a deck save. Okay. And then fail, the guy fail. attacking the doors is past them, right? Yeah, and there's a large angelic statue between the guy attacking the door and you guys. Uh, two more fails. Wow. All right. All of them fail. So they are restrained. Okay. And it can use its action to make a strength check against my spell save DC. All right, and you need to uh, roll a surge check. Okay, <laughs> not sure I want that one anymore. <laughs> because I because of what I said. No, just because I'm naked, an asshole, and I can't see anything. I think there's some good ones in the table. <laughs> Oh, no, I know. I'm joking. I'm really excited for some cool things to happen. Just Six out of 10,000. None that take my <laughs> clothes away and my magical items that are on me. Um, <laughs> Horton. Uh, I'm going to full action just dash at the Is that 50? Church. Yeah, that's 50. I'm aiming towards the one on the church. Is saying that everybody else is going for the cart. Yep, you're still behind. Um, oh yeah, Jazzy. I'm running as hard as my little legs will take me. The Dretch's turn. I'll go on the same initiative. I assume that's that's all you want to do, Horton. Yeah. Horton. Horton. Did you hear me? I was just saying your name uh, because okay. I was enjoying saying just making, it. Just making sure. Um, bah, 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 bah. So they're all restrained, huh? And you, you said they were all within 20 feet, I assume, right? Since it was attacking a cart? Yeah, they yeah. are. So they are. They're and all they just rolled shitty. I guess they're going to try to get unrestrained. <laughs> What's your DC? 16. Okay. Two more fails. Two more fails. Two more fails. Rolling well tonight. On course for getting through quickly. 
<laughs> it's usually not. It's mighty suspicious. Check. At some point, this is gonna like <laughs> turn into a fucking bloodbath with these dice. <laughs> That's usually how it works for me. 20, 20, 20. <laughs> yeah. Sit down. <laughs> TPK. What's your AC? 21? I don't give a fuck. 20. <laughs> 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 All right. The lizard person at the door of the temple continues swinging on the temple doors. Jazzy, it's your turn. All right, picture Dick action. Cheney. You you picture Dick Cheney at the door, bashing on the doors. Lizard sure. person. I mean, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, spiritual weapon. That's a 19 to hit. Yeah. I was watching the beginning of the DNC uh, convention, and they were interviewing Buttigieg, and the Zoom connection was shitty, so his face was getting pixelized in weird ways. And I was just like, lizard man. Yep. That's not <laughs> pixelated. That's why the that camera. Was, that was real time. true face. That's why the camera can't pick it up. Uh, that's another 11 points of damage. Okay. Dead. Um, I'm going to fly 30 feet closer to the temple. Is it in the same direction as the cart? So I'm like heading in that. Yes, you're heading down the road uh, okay. east. Um, this is a, this is the main thoroughfare of this town. Okay. And uh, yeah. So I want to go 30 more feet uh, past the dretches in the web. Um, how far away am I from the temple now? You are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60... 70, 80, 90. 90. Uh, <laughs> I will send a guiding bolt right up his bum. Okay. Try to at least. Uh, first level. That's such a calm. Not 20! Nice. nice. That does hit. Huzzah. <laughs> and then two sixes and two ones. 28 points of radiant damage and he lights up like a Christmas tree. Okay. That is my turn. Nice. Okay. Back up to Shabby. Seriously? Still guys to kill? No, no there's no gnolls. You, people ran past you, and they're way down the road going east, trying to head to these dretches, these little tiny demon things attacking this cart that a woman is screaming from beneath. So you need to move because you are pretty far away. You don't need to move. You could flail wildly. You could also do that. You. <laughs> I mean, you could investigate one of these houses that's on fire for, I don't know, muffins or something if you wanted to. The world is your oyster, Shabby. Really? The hell is there my oyster? There might be muffins. Um, I will run after... Yeah, I'll go, go to the vehicle. How hard do you run? By that I mean, do you use your action to dash? How far away is the vehicle? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, about 75, 80 feet. Okay, sure, I dash. Um, how, I how far can all you dash? My, that would take all of my movement for dashing because it'd be, it'd be double, what? right? So yes, 80? double. Okay, so yes, you can get right up to the cart and you still know you can't because you use your action. But you're right up next to the dretches. Cool. Cool. Oh, yeah. And do, yeah. Did my reduction in hit points, did that ever get addressed from uh, last, last game? You haven't slept yet, correct? Okay. Got it. No. I was, yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure. Just making sure. Drink up. Uh, I go. If I go my full 30 feet of movement now, I am 20 feet past the cart. No, I'm. I'm right over the cart. How far away is the guy that uh, Jazzy's attacking by the door? Um, 
90 feet. Cool. I'm going to send a, since these guys are still in webs, I'm going to stay over here, but I'm going to send a Chaos Bolt his way. Okay. That's first level. 26. To hit? Yes. And that is 10 damage of... Two. Oh, that's a d6. Uh, let's go with thunder damage, and it's actually uh, sorry, eleven damage. Thunder damage. Okay. Make your surge roll, sir. Nat one. <laughs> <laughs> so, in a gout of wild <laughs> magic. You shoot this chaos bolt that's really not spectacular because it's thunder damage. You can still kind of see it. It's like wavy in the air, like almost like a uh, heat uh, heat coming off the ground. Um, and all of a sudden, you feel your fig leaf start to bite your nether regions and anything else you're wearing when the caster next cast the spell is clothing attacks him. So I'm just going to say it starts to attack you right now. You're not taking damage yet, but it's it's definitely alive. We Animal. got him rags. He's wearing clothes. Oh yeah, rags. I forgot about his uh, uh, his rags. Yeah. Oh, so it's just his rags. Not as entertaining as a fig leaf, but yeah. still. Yeah. Now he's fully uh, clothed. So he's, there's a uh, lot more attacking you. Yep, he thought no damage yet. Maybe there won't be damage. Maybe you should just stay naked. <laughs> yeah. If we've learned um, anything. All right. Where was I? That's where I was. Is this wall table you picked have anything to do with um, only doing things to my clothing? <laughs> so far, that's that's all it's coming up. Apparently. Uh, I just dash again towards the church. If I can, like, get my spirit guardians to, like, clip some of these little devils on the way. Like, not all of them, but, like, one or two as I pass by towards the church. Cool. If not, running towards the church. Okay. Yeah, you can clip some of them. There's a nat 20 and a nat 1. And another pass. So, three of them get hit by it. Where did Full damage is 12, 6 to the people that passed. I just keep running. Okay. Dretch is turn. All right. They're going to try to get out of the web again. Two fails. Two fails. Fourteen is not your. Nope. That's the highest I rolled. Fourteen. Yeah, it's got to be to sixteen. Yeah. This is exciting. These stupid demons can't get out of some <laughs> fucking webs. <laughs> the Hezru is going to turn around, glowing with radiant energy. And it's going to use its movement to head on over. Oh, hey, a Hezru. Yep. One of those. One of those guys. And one of those. Was it you guys or your previous characters? Previous characters. Okay. Uh, for me, several characters ago. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you've only got a one character lead on people, I think, right? Yeah, it was a Hezru that killed Kara. Oh. Don't you have a two character lead on us? No, I think I think he's only got a one character lead no, on two. Gary. Uh, yeah. Two? Oh, on Gary. Gary. One on yeah. Gary. Yeah. yeah. Two on the party. Oh yeah, I forgot I died as soon as I spawned. <laughs> <laughs> it was like two Spawn rounds. Yeah. It was like twelve seconds. It was twelve seconds. <laughs> it really was. 
I think I got one. I don't even know. If, it might have been six. I think I got one. Welcome to life. One, Boom. one action in, and I was down. <laughs> All right. Jazzy. Um, so he's still glowing? He's still glowing. And now he's right in front of the statue of Zeriel. Sweet. Um, I'm going to uh, third level guiding bolt him. Nice. With advantage. Oh, that's a good thing I had advantage. That was a nat one. Uh, 21. 21. That does hit. Twenty-one points of damage, and he's still lit up like a Christmas tree. And then bonus action, I'm gonna spiritual weapon a dretch. Okay. And, and you said they're still restrained, right? They didn't get out. Yeah, they're still restrained. You guys are rolling well. That also gets advantage. So that's twenty-two to hit. Mm-hmm. Which does less damage. Uh, seven points of damage. Just keep slapping them. And I will fly closer to the Hezru, but I'll start angling upwards. Uh, so I want to be 20 feet in the air above. Okay, so you're not going to get as far, obviously. Correct. Um, shabby. So I take a swing with my uh, with my axe. Um, okay. Miss with the first. I assume that a uh, thirteen doesn't hit. The dretches it does hit. Oh, nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Twenty nine damage. Dead. Hit the next one. Don't go in nice. the web. So with the next one, I did a... Uh, a is he in point. the web now? I don't know. It's 20 feet. No, I think centered on this cart, it's just covered. I think he could stay out of it. I think he's probably fine. Uh, so the next one was a, a critical. Um, Jesus. <laughs> more blood. But dust. I still only ran... I rolled poorly on the damage. That's so 34. Yeah, they had 12 <laughs> hit points. <laughs> Poof. Okay, that's your turn. So then I, well, for one bonus action, I. You just you didn't you or that was your. Okay. I, get, I get extra yeah. attack already. Yeah, um, go ahead. Oh, that's not gonna hit. So twelve is it twelve hit? Yes, it does. Nice. And that would be twenty six damage. Dead. We're nice. rolling like kings against twelve health. <laughs> it's true, you guys. That's literally what's happening. <laughs> would have been nice if we rolled like that the day we all died. True, true. You needed it to. You needed better than that. Yeah. Yeah. We would have had to roll insane to survive that. I mean, we've already had what three crits this combat? More, I feel like. We were dead so fast in that thing, and I didn't even have my great axe or my. My mall. Well, why'd you throw it? I didn't throw it. It was to maintain the ruse. It was, yeah, it was so I could act like a prisoner. <laughs> Draco, it's your turn. All right. Um, those guys are still there. How's the uh, guy that uh, Jazzy's fighting, the Hezru? Does he look beat up at all? The Hezru does look beat up. He's been getting hit by guiding bolts, and he's right by the statue. He's about... 30 feet from Jazzy and about 60 feet from you. Let's just be uh, dramatic and just throw a blight at him. Okay. <laughs> That's a, a wisdom. Con, con, con. 16 con save. Lol. 26. 
Draco's back to being useless. How is a... Just still a does half, damage, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Wanna... Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot. It's not a... Uh, 46 halved. So, 23. Bloodied. And I need you to roll on the table. Or roll your, uh, d20. Oh, did I... Did, did, did my rags attack me? Uh, yes, they started attacking you. It's very annoying. Um, <laughs> I would say that it may affect any attack spells you cast. Got it. Okay. Horton. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm done. I uh, continue dashing towards the Hezru. Do I make it yet? 50 more feet? Yeah, you can get right up to him if you dash. Yeah. Then spirit These guardians spirit will guardians. start doing their work. Nat one. You attack that's, him, he's lit up, remember. That's the fifth nat one. I can't attack, I use my ash and dash. Oh yeah. Thirteen damage. Okay. Uh that's your turn. Zidretches. We're going to try to get out. The last two dretches are going to try to get out, and they both fail. Fuck these dretches. <laughs> it's real bad. Real bad. Hezru is going to... Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians, and then it's going to... Another nat one. <laughs> Twelve damage. That's six. <laughs> oh, it has advantage. So six damage because it passed. Okay. Uh, 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 multi attack on old Horton. Three attacks, one bite, two claws, one bite. Fifteen does not. No. Twenty six. Yes. Nat twenty. Doesn't uh, doesn't crit me. Uh, the claws do hit. Thirteen from the first. Okay. And twelve from the second. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the round. Oh, you know what? Can I shock him? Yes, you can. Me? You can. Use my reaction. It's a deck save 17 DC. Just makes it 17. Okay, no damage then. At the end of the round, a chorus of screams rises up as people, sheep, and pigs scamper through the town, chased by a demon with the lower body of a great serpent and the upper body of a sixth arm, armed knoll clutching a wicked sword in each of its clawed hands. Okay. Um, uh, let me do that. One second. If anything but my friends tries to run through my spirit guardians, they get attacked. Just throwing it out there. Yep, <laughs> yep, <not>. yep. <laughs> I mean, you're right next to a large lizard demon yeah. yeah so they're kind of making a wide i would hope so but if they don't yeah a pig runs through or something you know? sure sure <laughs> just kidding <laughs> bacon all right top of the round shabby there's still two dretches next to you all right uh take a swing one of the dretches uh, 15. Yep. And, uh, 
23 damage. Dead. And then I take another swing at the other ones for 23 and 30 Dead. damage. And 15, I assume, hits. And... There's no more directors to hit. Oh, right. <laughs> So I haven't Shabby, used my come movement. down. They're dead. I haven't They're used dead. my movement, so can I move over to Yeah. yeah. Okay. So your movement's forty? Yeah. You won't you won't quite make it there, you still have Okay. A certain That's amount. all I can do then. Yeah. Yep. I have a Christmas song stuck in my head. It's a little early for that. Which one? The, um... The Grinch one? Baru Taru. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I'm just really bad with, uh, lyrics. All right. Uh, the, the Grocknol, the Merilith, it is his turn after Shabby. And this is the guy with the clawed hands? Yeah, the large lizard weird demon. Dun, 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 Did you say it's the Hezra's turn? No, it's a Merilith's oh, turn. Oh, okay. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. It is going to teleport. Right next to Jazzy and Shabby. I'm 20 feet in the air. 20 feet next to you, underneath you. Uh, this thing is like... Let me double check size. Large, so over okay. 10 feet tall. Sure, sure. Uh, and... Yeah, I think that's going to be it. Wait, does it even need to teleport? It could just... Slither. Slither, yeah. No, it's just going to slither and get next to Shabby. Slightly. And it's going to multi attack with seven attacks. Does it come within 15 feet of me? No, it does not. Okay. What is the mechanism by which it attacks me seven times? <laughs> it's six hands. <laughs> uh, it's tail and it's six arms. Yeah, I was going to describe it but um it's basically like a like a, a blender a demon a, <laughs> a demon blender it's the best margaritas it's a mashup for their parties does uh, very very ornery not not fun otherwise great to have at parties just in the kitchen um all right Beep -beep. Do I need to get advantage on these, Shabby? Or no? Did you were you reckless before? Yeah, I've been I always attack recklessly unless I say I'm not. Okay. And that your ability means anyone who attacks you gets advantage, right? I'm pretty sure. I mean, it doesn't quite make sense that I attacked recklessly, right? And then I moved to another area. Like it's supposed to be that I'm like you know, swinging so hard that I'm not really What does the ability about. say, though? Yeah, it says anyone. But okay. I'm just saying, like, with this scenario, it doesn't quite make sense, but... Uh, attack recklessly. When you make your first attack on your turn, you can decide to attack recklessly, giving you advantage on melee weapon attacks. Attack rolls using strength during this turn, but attack rolls against you have advantage until your next turn. Okay. Yeah. Does so a 19 unless I, Unless I... Unless I did, unless I took a turn off from recklessly, then I would be open to it until my next turn, right? Yes. Does a nineteen hit you? Yes. Uh, 
25. I don't think does a 15 hit you. No. Nice. All right. Tail attack. All right. Five longsword attacks do hit, and the tail hits. One longsword doesn't. I'm just going to use my phone. First attack is 20 slashing damage. No, the tail attack is 20. Sorry. Uh, and then the long swords are this. 17. 12. 18. 12. 18. Uh, that is... can't math i i took them one by one so i didn't okay. i don't need a total all right jerry or <laughs> you got me doing it shabby is uh is bloodied okay just you did, it. you did half on all those right yeah okay <laughs> just making sure but half of that was a lot yeah um i mean he's right. looking pretty rough that Garaknol's turn. Garaknol. Garak the Kazbah. Draco. Can I... This guy with the swords and the leg, the tail, can I get a web around him? Like, is he near anything that I can web him to? Without getting my party in the web, like, can I stick him to a tree or something? There are no trees around. He's kind of in the middle of this square that houses, um, that has the uh, statue, large statue in the middle of it. Uh, so there's nothing within. How far can you? It's a 20 foot web that I'd have to anchor it to two points. Yeah, it can't really. All right. Um, I'm going to. You can to... see, though. Huh? You can see. I just want to remind oh, you. So thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was hope. I figured you would have said I wouldn't see him. Um, all right, then I'm just gonna help my party out to get a leg up on this guy, and I'm gonna try to banish him. Okay. It's a charisma save. Charisma with advantage because he's got resistance. That's rude. And a plus ten to saving throws. Oh, brutal. I rolled a six and an eight. Oh, but plus so, 10. Yeah, so 18. 18. So it passes. Okay. Just nothing happens, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm reading it. Double check. Roll your, yeah, no. your surge. Nope. And I assume I'm still getting attacked by my clothing. You are. Uh, you are. Cool. Do you want to move? Or are you just chilling 30 I, feet in the air by that cart? Um, I'm within... Well, I'm within 30... I'm about 30 feet from the Hezera. No, so, you don't. Uh, I moved to get close to him to cast my... Your last turn, you didn't move. Oh, no. Okay, you're right. You're right. So I'm still... Then I'm going to move... Okay, then I'm going to move towards this guy. I thought towards the Merilith, you can get within. Closer. If you do thirty, you can get kind of close to Jazzy, and you will be in within fifteen feet of the Merilith. Cool. I'll go. The, well, I'll go there and still be like ten feet away from Jazzy. Okay. Sorry, I thought thirty I was feet closer. in the air still. Yeah. Yep. 
Cool. Horton. Saves. Oh, uh, no. Nope. That only That's happens on, on his turn. His turn. Um. Am I facing the right direction to have seen Shabby get beat to shit by that dude? I mean, yeah, you can. Yeah. I can hear it. At you can least. hear. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> clink, clink. metal on Shabby. All right. Um. How far away is Shabby from me? Ten, twenty-five feet. Twenty-five. Also, Draco ignored Shabby getting beaten because he's cruel and uncaring towards others. <laughs> um, <laughs> then I am going to, if I have to take an attack of opportunity, I will. But I want to be within thirty feet of the Hezru and the Merilith. What thirty feet? You are currently within 30 feet. Okay, of I didn't know what side of the, of the, the guy. Okay, then I am going to designate my party as friendly and slam the ground with my mace. In a, or with my uh, mace. Or hammer, whatever you want to call it. With a uh, destructive wave. Okay. That's and a save, that I assume? Is, yes. Con save, 17 DC. Also plus 10 on that. 29. Okay, so it's half damage. So it's that. This. So 37. So it's 19 thunder, 18 radiant. Is that halved already? No, that's not halved. So 9 and 9. Anything else? Uh, nope. I will just stand there and egg this Hezru on. Okay. Hezru is going to run. Uh, Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians. Seventh natural one. Twelve damage to him, and it counts as difficult terrain because he's next to me. Okay. He's still going to move as much as he can. Take my attack of opportunity. Yep, you can. Mod 20? Yes. Three non-magical physical. Uh, plus two, so five non-magical damage. Three thunder. Jazzy. Um, I'm going to. Can I fly to Shabby? Yeah, you're within. You're up in the air, obviously, but you're right. within like. 10 Just wanted feet, to make sure. 15. I figured I could. Um, I'm going to fly down to him, uh, slap him on the back of the head with my trunk, and cast protection from good and evil on him. Okay. Gives disadvantage to evil things attacking him, correct? Correct. He has advantages on saving throws and stuff. Yes. Uh, but it's more the disadvantage for attacks is what I'm hoping for. Um, and then I will f run uh, back away from Shabby and the big thing with so many arms. Do you want to go back in the air? Um, I'm going to say no, because I, I, I want to... I'm going to try to put distance between us. So I'll stay okay. on the ground. Um, and then I'll move my spiritual weapon 20 feet closer to the six-armed monster. Okay. It was at the wagon. Do you want to move west or towards the statue? I will go towards the statue. Okay. So I'll say now you are in between uh, Horton and uh, Shabby. Shabby. I swing at the giant 
Lizard Man. Yep. Eddie Eddie Lizard. Eddie Lizard, uh, nice. I uh strike for with a twenty three. Okay. Uh twenty two damage. And then I got another crit. Cut. Critting for it up. Thirty nine damage. Critting it up. So tell me if my interpretation of brutal critical is correct. I it says You just add says, another damage die. Yeah, so I still get to for the crit you I don't still get double to double. It. For the crit I still get to double though. You double the original dice, you do yeah, not double yeah. the brutal critical die. Right, yeah. Okay, so I did it I did it right then. Okay. Thirty nine damage. All right. And for great weapon master you get another bonus attack too, right? For critting. I don't know. Yes, Tell me. You're right. It's when you're right. you crit or you okay. kill someone. Yeah. Nice. You can do the bonus action attack. Nice. And I'm not going to connect on that one. So okay. it doesn't matter. But thank Earth you for pointing that out. Back to Garakanal's turn. I also forgot he had an ability that would have helped him out there. Bummer. All right. We'll forget it. You can tell us in the post game. And sorry, I'm a little turned around. There's the Grocknell and the Marilith. Grocknell is the Marinith. That's his name. Got it. Sorry. That's I can what see was why that would be me. confusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he has advantage, but it's normal because of the spell on yeah. Shabby. Yep. Hope it helps. <laughs> Yeah, the way this guy hits, I mean, it's possible I could die. Mm, 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 mm. He might go attack Jazzy. <laughs> yeah, he's going to go attack Jazzy. So you get a attack of opportunity there, Yay. Dave. Did I say I cast it on Shabby? I meant I cast it on myself. 21? <laughs> yeah, that does hit, Dave. Yeah, this uh, Marilith uh, is pretty smart. 22 damage. Okay. I just get a regular attack, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. So I just did a lot. 44 plus... So basically, I did 83 damage to him in my last turn, basically. <laughs> First two sword shots miss. The second two, one is a nat 20 and is a 20 some, 23 to hit. Yep, 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 yep. And a 22 and a 28. Yep, 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 yep. And the tail attack is a 13, so that doesn't. Nope. So it's that four sword attacks? It's four swords. One is a crit. Right. Twenty on the crit. Ow. Seventeen. Twelve. Ten. Ow. <laughs> Very bloody. You bloody? Uh, no, thanks to that temp HP I got. Nice. But that still hurt real bad. Yeah. <laughs> There's only, blood, but I'm imagine. not bloodied. <laughs> uh, Draco. Uh, been trying to think this whole time about how I'm going to fix this. Um, I'm going to twin spell a haste on Shabby and Jazzy. Mm hmm. And that was a sorcerer spell. Oh, I have to roll my concentration. Um, 
Okay. So, and I'm gonna stay. Does it, this guy doesn't look like he has like wings of any sort, right? No. Cool. So I'm gonna haste the two of them, and then I'm gonna stay in the air. Maybe go okay. another ten feet in the air. Okay. So I am now forty feet in the air. Yep. I did maintain concentration on my protection spell. Nice. Horton. And I did not do it because I want to save Shabby and Jazzy. I did it because I don't want to die. Sure. Yeah, I agree. How far away did that guy get from me? The one that ran. Like 15 feet. I'm going to run at him. I'm going to get away from me, punk. And then uh, just going to thump him on the butt as he's running the mace attack. Does 18 hit? Yeah. It's 8 non-magical for thunder. Dead. And I'll use my other 15 feet to run back towards the many-armed man. Okay. Well, actually, only 10 feet left. Sorry, little legs. He still is within range of spiritual guardians. It's only the first time they enter, and then when they start. So, oh no, he hasn't been hit yet by Spirit Guardians, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. He, he's just entering. That's like 24. That's a pass. Let me roll the Dimage. Uh, he takes eight. Okay. Jazzy. Ow, 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 ow. Um, I'm going to move my spiritual weapon 20 feet closer. How far mm-hmm. away is it now? It is... It's right up next to the Merilith. Oh, then I'm just going to attack. 19? Yes. You guys are killing your rolls. Do you guys realize that? Well, we, we got a proficiency bump, and many of us take an ASI bump, so we... A lot of us got a plus two to him. Yeah, to most I know. of our rolls. But you're still doing it good. It helps. <laughs> yeah. Because that was a 10, but it's a 19. Uh, let's see. Three. Eight points of damage. Okay. Yep, eight points of damage from that. Um, I'm going to fly up 60 feet because I'm hasted. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, blast a guiding bolt second level okay down at him uh on that previous attack with the spiritual weapon he's going to use his reaction to parry hmm. uh and that'll bring his that attack was a what now a 19 that was a 19 yeah so it brings it up to a 23 um and then got it so that didn't hit um right. And then my guiding bolt is a mod 20. Yeah. Twenty one points of damage and he's lit up. Okay. Shiny, glittery, golden lights. Shabby. I assume that I am swinging and missing three times because I got a the highest I got was sixteen. Correct. You were oh yeah. you were already advantage from the thing. Yep. So I uh, I have that extra from the haste, but my guy rolled sixteen, thirteen, and twelve to hit. So I have a hasted action too, don't I? Yeah, you can go. Sorry, Shabby, I forgot. Thanks okay. for the reminder. Um, can, and I can cast another spell with haste. That's an uh, option, right, Gary? That's uh, one of the looking one of the one of the ac- actions I can take. Yeah, I think it's just any. Pretty sure the, we that action can be used were... to take the attack, one weapon attack, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. Oh, okay. So I can't cast a spell with it. Um, in that case, I am going to uh, take out. My trusty hand axe, the nicer one that Bell gave me. Yeah. I'm going to chuck it at him. Do it. 
Um, so now that I'm 60 feet in the air, it's at disadvantage. Oh, but I still hit. That's a 21. Mm-hmm. That does hit. So that's going to do a whopping seven points of damage. Okay. I throw my hand axe at him. All right. Hasted action. All right, yep. I'm done. Uh, back to you, Shab. My my turn's pretty much just me swinging and missing. Somehow okay. I miss a giant six-legged, six-armed thing. He's sli- he's slippery. All right. Um, slip on his slime. He leaves like a snail trail. Is now the Merilis turn, and it is going to where? Where did I put that? Spirit Guardians. Pass. Uh, eight damage. Mm-hmm. He's going to teleport away 120 feet. And he's out of sight almost. Not quite, though. It's at this point that um, well, tell me this: Do you guys would you guys chase it? No, I wouldn't I, chase anything. I would opportunity attack it. If it, it can't. <laughs> as it, it teleported. Oh, okay. I Draco would chase it if his party did, but if his party did not, Draco would. Okay, not. so no. Um, at this point, someone comes out of the trap. The uh, temple the doors open and a woman in you clerics know immediately uh, she is a a priest of the morning lord the lathander and uh looks worried and and on on guard but uh addresses you guys and as she's approaching uh, you hear in your head Lulu's voice, and it uh, says, Good job. Take a break. We've got an hour before the really bad stuff happens. And then uh, Jasa, the priest, greets you and says, I'm Jasa. I would like to thank you for defending my town. Um... It appears Lathander's blessing is upon us. The Morning Lord has shown me that the night will grow darker still, but that beyond the darkness awaits a glorious dawn. Zeriel will come to us, but we must persevere until she does. And then she points at the statue, uh, and you see a point of light on the face of Zeriel, uh, radiant energy uh, glowing off her face that seems to be growing. Uh, we must protect this beacon of light and hope, and it will protect us in turn and allow for Lathander's dawn to reach us. She's referring to the light on the statue. So, what do you do for an hour? What would you like to do? There's still shit on fire. There's still people screaming. Um, but for the most part, there's uh, it's much more calm. But we know bad shit's gonna happen. Yeah. I take a short rest. <laughs> okay, short rest. <laughs> Yeah. I will short rest and pray in front of the statue and hope that my praying speeds the uh, whatever it's doing. Okay. Everybody short rest. Uh, Does any of that that max HP come back from short rest? No, it doesn't. Um, Haste goes away, obviously. Uh, uh. Okay. And I'm going to use, during that time, I'm going to use a couple of my sorcery points to re- regain some of my spell slots. Heck yeah. Because I fucked up using a lot of spell slots. <laughs> okay, so you short rest, do everything you need to do. Um, your short rest happens. And then at the end of it, 
A wild, hideous laugh pierces the air and cuts through the din of battle. A giant knoll covered in matted, blood-stained fur and swinging a three-headed flail charges out of the haze from the west. Gore drips from its red maw open in a violent laugh. Roll initiative as this huge demon lord is coming at you. There we go. There's the cleric roll. And there's my non-cleric roll. I got a nat 20. What's the total? For a whopping 21. Okay. (laughs) Morton? One. Nice. Shab? I'm still rolling my hit die. Hold it. So do we short rest or not? Yeah, you do. Okay. Draco? Eight. Do I see this? Yeah, you guys hear it and see it running down the main street you just came through an hour ago. But does Draco oh, see it? You said? Yes, you do. Okay. So what's your initiative, Dave? Twenty-one. Cool. Oh, uh, Draco also would have used a short rest to get these rags off of him, and he is now naked again. Nice. Not even a fig leaf. If I would have found something on the floor that I could have, you know, covered up, I would have. But if not, then just naked. All right, Shabby, you're up first. Um, Ye no goo. Ye no goo? Ye no goo. You heard me. (laughs) Get my good old trusty great axe. Ah, crit it again. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus. Uh, you would need to run 60 feet to get to him. Oh, I can't do it then. Damn it. Aww. Uh, yeah, so I just run 40 feet in his direction. Okay. And I'll... So I use my movement, and then I'll take the dodge action. Okay. Thinking. That's thinking. Jazzy. I'm gonna fly 30 feet in the air and cast low on him. That is a wisdom save. Oh, these are some good saving throws. Bummer. He is a demon lord. There is that. I I forgot to say I'm I'm raging. Copy that. (laughs) Uh, Copy that. Uh, Roger. I rolled a three and a six for a 19. Oh, bummer. Um, He passed, so no slow. No slow here. Um, You can't slow here. But I'm 30 feet in the air, so I got that going for me. Okay. Is that Family Guy or Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump. Uh, he's going to make a legendary action at the end of your turn Jazzy self-proclaimed legend and is going to what do I want to do he is legend He's fucking stat blocks are large and in charge. Yeah, they are. He is a demon lord after all. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Where the fuck? There it is. It's gonna move up to a speed. Should have done that on Shabby's turn, but I forgot. Classic me. He's going to run around Shabby to not get an opportunity attack. He's now within 10 feet of Horton and 
Draco. Let's go. Oh dear. Is he within reach of us, like arm's reach? Uh, you, you don't know. Okay. Now it's his turn. Oh. Oh. No soon. Shiza. Oh. Is there, is there any reference Holy. material? Uh, I th did I not put it in? Maybe I didn't even. I had planned on grabbing it. Uh, you know what? There's a reason I didn't. Uh, I will show it to you in a bit. How about that? Okay. It's going to run up to you, Horton. It's going to make three flail attacks. Sick. It's got a large bonus, as you can imagine. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a two. 18 does not hit, right? No. Okay. Jeez. That's another two. Small. Okay. Small target. <laughs> and then a 25. That hits. Yeah. Oh, I love rolling d12s. I'm going to thunderous rebuke him. Or wrath of storm is what it's called. Okay, let me just uh, do his action yeah. first. 17 bludgeoning damage from the f massive flail. Okay. And... Uh, and as it hits you feel an additional effect and I need you to make a constitution saving throw as you start to feel your body get paralyzed 17 that's your save yeah just passes good work good, uh, uh, good work and then do your rebuke the DC 17 dex uh, uh, uh. Fail. Ooh. It takes eight thunder damage. Okay. Draco. Draco's gonna shoot thirty feet up, and on his way up, he's gonna twin spell another haste on Shabby and Horton. Okay. And that will be his gig. Roll your uh, wild magic. A two. Okay. Horton. Oh, he's yeah. going to uh, legendary action again. Okay. He's going to swing at Horton. Thirty-one. Yes. <laughs> Don't think haste will help you with that one. <laughs> Sixteen bludgeoning damage, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Eighteen. Uh, does not make it. You are pushed 15 feet back in a straight line from the sheer power, and you're now right against the statue of Zeriel. Gotcha. And at the end of his uh, the round, excuse me, uh, no, it's Horton's turn. I'm sorry. All right. Um, saying that this is a 
chonky big boy. I'm going to fifth level call lightning. Okay. Deck safe? Yes. And I am going to max damage it. 24. So he passes, he takes 25 thunder damage. Okay. When it hits him, it doesn't do as much damage as you think. Okie dokie. Anything else? Uh, who else is down here with me? Close to him? Just me and Shabby? Uh, you are near the... It's... Uh, Shabby is on the other... He's fur the furthest yeah. away. Um, the two flyers are 30 feet in the air okay. above him. Then I will just stay where I am. Okay, at the end of the round, the light on Zeriel grows a little bit brighter, and Yanogu is starting to squint. Shabby, it is your turn. You're muted. I had to roll a lot of die. Um... So, 15 does not hit. You use your movement to get up to him, I assume? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 15 does not hit. And uh, 21? Yes, it does. 31 points of damage. Okay. And then a 20 on natural for 25. Nice. You can a couple of nice swings with that, with that great axe. It feels good. And that was with your hasted action? Yeah, that third oh, okay. that third strike was the hasted action. Okay. J Jazzy. Um, I am going to uh, fly down a little ways. Just How far? Halfway down. 15 so feet, you're the... above him. Exactly. Um, and I'm going to pop a fifth level Spirit Guardians. Okay. This is the highest I've ever cast it, and the gauntlets are now not only spiked, but they are also clawed. Nice. And they start wreaking havoc on him, so that's a wisdom, wisdom. save that I assume he'll pass. Um, <laughs> still take half damage. Well, he's got a plus 14 on that, so... There's a chance. He also has his advantage. There's still a chance. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. How many ones you've rolled tonight? Uh, that's a good point. So many. <laughs> so many. How much is half? Uh, 19 have to 8. 9. 9. Okay. 9 radiant. Um, and I will stay right there so that he stays in it. Okay. And my bonus action... I don't have anything to do with my bonus action. My spiritual weapon is long since gone. Copy that. And that will be all I do. Okay. He's going to use a legendary action, and he does have a reach of 15 feet. Balls. <laughs> okay. He's going to swat you away. Reasonable. He's going to try. Probably gonna say. 31. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, swat, he swats all right. Um, 18 bludgeoning damage. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Right, right, right. 14. Swatted. You are swatted 15 <laughs> feet away, and you fall prone. Am I prone if I'm flying in the air? Or does that mean I plummet? It's a, I'm trying to decide. I was thinking about that as you failed by that much. You're hanging upside down. 
Your shoe is stuck to a tree. Yeah, I'm gonna say you fall 15 feet. All right. They fall 15 feet. Imagine like a volleyball like spike. One. Yeah. <laughs> One bludgeoning. <laughs> One bludgeoning. Yeah, I just got spiked. That's definitely what happened. I just got volleyball spiked. And you're prone. Yeah, that's just bad news bears. And it's his turn. Yeah, it's bad news bears. Oh, I need to roll a concentration. But Draco still does not care. That is a pass. And for that one damage, that is a pass. Okay. <laughs> All right. That would suck if that one damage broke my spirit guardians. <laughs> he will make a save for that, right? If he's coming at me, yes, he will. It's a natural 20. So 34. Oh, that's not good enough. My say DC is really, really high. Ugh. Uh, 25 have to 12. Okay. And then he's in difficult terrain as he tries to approach, as he definitely approaches me. <laughs> he's still in range of. Oh yeah. Of of you, he can make it to you. Which is... <laughs> I guess he he can stay at the edge of spirit guardians and just flat. Yeah. Him. I mean, he he has a good movement speed too. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he has to get into it if he has fifteen foot range, but then just barely, just barely. Uh, he's gonna multi attack you with advantage. With advantage. Bummer. Natural 20 on the first. Balls. Shit. Comes the bloodbath. Guys, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Here comes the bloodbath, he says. <laughs> 27 on the second. Jazzy was fun. It was foretold in the prophecy. <laughs> 30 on the third. Yeah. Yup. Each one of those will do an extra 2d12 bludgeoning damage. Including the crit. Uh, so that's 3d12. Oh no, 10, sorry. Thirty, <laughs> dude. It's a demon lord. What am I supposed to do? It's all good. Go for it. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Thirty for the crit. Okay. Uh, but that's before the extra um, damage that comes from a successful attack. Okay. So let's just do the regular <laughs> attacks first. Well, no, because you're gonna you're gonna probably take me down in this. So let's go ahead and do the do it in order. Okay, it's up to you, I guess. <laughs> It might matter. He doesn't want the crit to be last. <laughs> I no. mean, the crit's first, yeah. Yeah, the crit's first, so it, it might still matter. So uh, actually... 14 on the... Okay. Extra, you still alive? Yep. Okay, oh, yeah, so I'm this... definitely still alive on the first one. Just by the end, I might not be. So yeah, the second attack... <laughs> 13. Then the extra... 13, 26 on the second attack. Okay, still going, still going. Nice! Not looking good. 17 on the third. That takes me down. So okay. is the extra damage a second attack, another effect, or is it all It's the an same? effect, it's a new effect. Okay. So I'm currently down for this extra effect. Yeah. So it hits you. 2 d a melee attack? Can it is. A crit? So that's two failures? Two failures. <laughs> Alrighty. So you see, as I'm just pummeled into the ground, you see me like <laughs> bouncing <laughs> off of the ground in reverberation. Like kind of a the big ground. locks down. And just like... <laughs> Thrashed. Maybe you hear like a little. Thrashed. Just gets air gets forced out of 
out of his trunk. Uh, it went from 105 at the beginning of all this. Where the fuck is Lulu? Uh, you it. heard her voice. <laughs> oh, okay. You heard Watching her... it like a movie. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, Lulu, get out of here. <laughs> sure, you hear, oh no. <laughs> Draco. Draco is going to continue flying another 30 feet into the air, seeing that his buddies are getting beaten and go the opposite direction. Um, well, not so much buddies. But uh, he's going to cast Chaos Bolt. And... Uh, you know what? Just for fun, he's also going to take advantage on that. Nice. Tides of Chaos. Sweet. Yep. So that's a uh, 21 to hit. Okay. Yeah, that does hit. It's that giggle over there. This is a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's How 19 damage? damage, and it's going to be... This one is going to be... Come cold, on. Da cold damage. Sorry, I had to pick. Ugh. I get options. That doesn't do as much. So lightning, or the, it was lightning and cold we've done so far. Neither of them did as much. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So yeah, and I took my. And, and yes, your surge. I used my... Roll of roll five d ten. Oh God. <laughs> He can't sleep on people. <laughs> uh, 5d10 is going to be a 27. Okay, so... Um, the entire planet experiences full daylight for 51 hours. Don't we already have full daylight? In a dream sequence. In a dream sequence. <laughs> the dream world. In this dream world, it will somehow continue on. You affected the past. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. All right. Horton, you just saw a butcher shop. Yeah. <laughs> of Loxodon. So, I have a question. Yeah. You normally can't cast two spells in one round, right? Yeah. But if one of them is a hasted action, and I already technically have the spell going, it's just like using it to hit with it for call lightning, can I also cast a spell? I, I don't see why you can't. Like, you're just using your bonus action to use call lightning, right? Or do you have to no, use No, it's action? an actual action. Oh. But it's not casting the spell. But I'm not casting it yet. It already exists. Yeah, so I'll say sure. Okay, so I am going to call lightning, full damage him again. Yeah. Dex 17. Oh, I rolled a 2d12. That's not what I want. Uh, Dex gets advantage on those. 20. Passes, so 25 damage. Half to 12 for his resistance. And then I am going to look at my very annoying, beaten Loxodon co-worker. Co-worker. <laughs> give him a, uh, a six-level heal. Okay. This group Ooh. is real close. So he heals for 70 hit points. Hello, feather fellow co-worker. I get the big one. You got the big one. Thanks, buddy. It's the only one I got. Don't get hit again. Hope it doesn't make it. <laughs> I'm still on the ground. As you come to, you're like, that's a lot of blood of mine around me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh... I tried yeah, to I'm trump gonna... it, it's just a spray of blood that comes out of my trunk. <laughs> I'm gonna run up to this dude and try and distract him. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> Do it. That's the end of my turn. Oh, 
Just uh, I'm just getting up next to him. Right. Yeah, just so maybe he'll attack me and not my friend on the ground. Okay. The light gets brighter on Zeriel. You know, gives fully turning his head to it now. Shabby. I take some more swings with the great axe. Do it. 20 on natural. Yes. 26 damage. And the 21 for 26, 27 damage. Nice. And okay. then I miss with the third. Copy that, Jazzy. I'm going to cast protection from good and evil and good <laughs> on myself. And I'm going to fly 30 feet straight up in the air. Okay. And then I'm going to breathe heavily with my bow. Oh, I forgot. Action. At the end of Shabby's turn, he's going <laughs> to legendary action. Sure. Swat at Shabby. <laughs> Special weapons and tactics? What? SWAT. 20, 21. I'm going to use... Um, oh, no, just kidding. I don't have any sorcery points left. Sorry, tried to help. So 21 is the total for the SWAT? No, uh, that's to hit. Uh, sorry, I'm changing. Fuck you, dice. Don't roll off. Uh, 18 bludgeoning on the SWAT. Make a strength saving throw also. Uh, 16. You are pushed 15 feet, feet backwards by the SWAT of the three-headed flail, and you are now prone on the ground. Oh, no. I mean, kind of. So then I do the things that I did and fly okay. away. So it was protection, fly away. Yep. End of your turn. Yep. You know whose turn? Breathe heavily. And I breathe bleed. heavily. I, I, I drip blood down onto him from above. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he's going to legendary action move up to Shabby, who's now prone on the ground. Then it's going to be his turn. I and take my going... attack of opportunity. You can't. All right. Uh, I I should have rolled advantage on that because I'm raging. Go ahead. You have advantage for reckless. Never mind. It was worse. Um, no, I have advantage because when I'm when I'm raging, you gain advantage on strength checks and saving oh. throws. Oh, so you were talking about your strength. I thought you were talking about your hit. Um, all right. So now you know Gusturn is going to make three flail attacks on the prone body. It was uh, 22 to hit, 8 non-magical, 8 thunder. Okay. Can't get double advantage, so that's a, the good news. Twenty four on the first. Thirty four. Twenty one. First attack is twelve bludgeoning plus another ten bludgeoning. Twenty two. Okay. Second attack is eighteen bludgeoning plus nineteen bludgeoning. Okay. Third attack is seventeen bludgeoning plus eighteen bludgeoning. Okay. How do you look? Yeah, that was some good shots. Uh, you bloodied? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, mean, I just took like, I don't know, fifty-five damage. I mean, like a hundred and I took a hundred damage basically, and took fifty for my barbarian. Yeah. But... yeah. That's mind blowing. 
Draco. Draco is going to send another Chaos Bolt. Okay. Guys, let's pre-roll your stuff so we can um, yep. speed this up. And then, uh, so it's a 22 to hit. Yep. and 13 acid damage okay roll your surge nope and I'm okay. also going to go another 33 or 30 sorry 30 feet up in the air just with a slow golf clap of all this destruction okay. below me Horton call lightning DC, please. 17. Dex. Pass. So he took 33, halved to 16. That's double halved? Yeah, so then to 8. Okay. And then uh, I swung and I missed. So that is all. Okay. At the end of the round, the cackling demon lord shuts his maw and narrows his eyes gazing up towards the sky as a beam of radiant light pierces the haze a powerful angel streaks down from above followed by a gold furred mammoth with feathered wings the angel slashes her sword across Hinoga's chest and utters a spell a portal opens behind the demon lord as the mammoth rams its head into Hinogu. the demon lord is sent tumbling through the portal which quickly closes behind them Thanks. Whoa. And you see a huge version of Lulu now. And uh, Zeriel steps down. She has her uh, blue hair, blue turquoise hair, um, elvish ears, uh, turquoise wings, a turquoise beautiful sword that looks kind of familiar from what you briefly saw in the cathedral she introduces herself and says I'm Zeriel I thank you for defending this town from the demon scourge what are your names Horton. pleasure I'm shabby <laughs> okay does Draco, uh, does Draco see Zeriel at all that was so scary. Uh, yeah, you still see things. Okay. Um, Am I Zeriel's... just guessing that my that effect is just gone? Or I can't? Right now it is. Oh, okay. Um, uh... Zeriel says to you guys, allow me, and she heals you guys up to full. Yay. Does it, does it affect spell slots and sorcery points at all? No. I would have told you. So no effect. Does it correct now. the uh, the max health? No. No. Those are, those are temporary. They're gone now. He's talk. Uh, Dave's talking about the um, because he got his su his uh, blood sucked by that demon. Oh. Uh... Uh, so and that, she's, that still stays the same. Right now it does, yeah. Um, she says, Yinogu slaughtered those I swore to protect. I can stop him and others like him. I might have to give up all I stand for, but I could stem the tide of chaos and save many lives from the demonic terrors of the abyss. Let me ask you something. Were you in my place? Would you risk it all to save others? Draco yes. immediately says no. <laughs> okay. Of course. Of is course. it a sure thing? How much of a risk is it? She doesn't uh, clarify. Um, she just repeats herself, asks for an answer. And Draco says no. I say yes. I say yes. I say yes. Okay. When you say yes, you feel radiant energy fill your body. Draco dies. 
<laughs> that flaw is gonna, uh, that flaw is about to bite me in the ass. I feel like you now have the charm of restoration. Write this down, all of you who said yes. This charm has six charges. You can also find it in the Dungeon Master's Guide under Charms. You can now use an action to expend some of its charges to cast one of the following spells. Greater Restoration equals four charges. Lesser Restoration equals two charges. Once all its charges have been expended, the charm vanishes from you. Uh, upon saying that, a flash of light brings all of you back to the bleeding citadel where you once were. And once again, you're in front of the sword of Zeriel, and Lulu is next to you, and the ghost that you first saw for a brief moment is still standing there. And she introduces herself as Yale. And Lulu interrupts her and says, She's the one who helped me put the sword here, and we sacrificed so much to build the citadel around it. I sacrificed powers and my memory. Yale here sacrificed her life. And I'll read the box text now since I have been dutifully reading box text. You stand before the dais atop which glows a sword of Zeriel. Also before you, Lulu and the ghostly warrior Yale. Lulu says, I remember everything now. Idleglen was the last straw. We followed Zeriel to Avernus, but the evil there proved to be too much. Asmodeus appeared and promised Zeriel infernal legions to end the blood war but she had to give the lord of the nine hells her fealty she accepted and became an arch devil but not before yale and i took her sword hoping it could redeem zariel someday i gave up my magic and memories and yale gave her life to construct this place to protect the sword yale's ghost says you have faced many trials to claim the sword of zariel i'm sorry to say you face one more as the inscription of the dais says the hero who becomes one with this blade exists no longer. Which of you is brave enough to draw the blade and be gone forever? And now... I will just ask, we'll end it after this. Which one of you would like to grab the sword? I asked last time, but now I'm really asking. Um, Jazzy steps forward without hesitation. I also will. I okay. figured you would. Now what? Jazzy slaps Horton in the face with his trunk and lunges for the sword. What does Horton do? <laughs> Bitch, I freaking go for his knees. <laughs> Try to take him out. The tiny dwarf goes for his knees. <laughs> I didn't expect this to be a PvP uh, thing. <laughs> so the clerics are fighting over who will out cleric the other. Draco rolls a die for entertainment, and Sir Jazzy rolls a charisma saving throw. No, not quite yet. We're gonna Aww. we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out on the next time. <laughs> we'll play out. We'll stop right where Jazzy lunges and Horton chop blocks Jazzy's knees. While he's uh, getting while he's getting face barred with a trunk. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Draco's casting a spell and Shabby's just standing there. Cool, thanks guys. A lot of combat, I know, but uh, you know, we're getting this done in five to six sessions, Dave. <laughs> a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of talk. We'll see if it happens. It's, it's coming. Maybe one even demon four. Went down already. <laughs> Maybe even four. I don't know. Cool. Uh, you guys have anything to plug? Uh, nope. Okay. Cool. I am still playing Star Wars Fate Dice, Fate Dice, Fate System. Um, Turk Bango, Turk Bango. Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Roll for change on Twitch. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Thanks, guys. Uh, be good to each other. Be good to yourself. And we'll see you next week with uh, find out who grabs the sword of Zeriel. See you later. <laughs>